Good afternoon, students. This is the subject Diploma in Secondary Education, DES, RME 11, Religious and Moral Education, Year 1, Semester 1. The assignment presentation for 2018. Welcome to the presentation of the assignment for 2018. Your tutor for DES, RME 11 is Ms. Matilda Shihepo. In this subject, you will study the concept of religious and relate it to the moral values. You will understand why RME is important in the school as a social organization. This presentation's aim is to help you understand what is expected from you for the assignment of 2018. You have to receive one you have received one assignment per subject per semester. This test RMA 11 assignment is out of 120 marks. To qualify for the examination, you should have obtained at least 50%. The aims of RMA. It promotes the spiritual, religious, and moral development of the learner. It promotes and foster the highest moral and ethical values. It develop and enhance respect for and understanding and tolerance for other people's religious beliefs, cultures, and ways of life. A few hints on the assignment. Here are a few hints on how to tackle your assignment to obtain good marks. Your assignment is a preparation exercise for the exams that will follow. Plagiarism is prohibited. This means that you may not write the text directly from the study guide or source of information. Instead, use your own words for better understanding. You may quote from your source when you want to strengthen your viewpoint. If you do this, Put the quoted text in inverted commas and mention the source used. However, do not do this regularly. Rather, make the content your own so that the tutor can see that you do understand the work. Also, before you start answering the questions, read through your study guide to make sure that you have a good understanding of the subject content. While reading, note the exit learning outcomes of each unit. This will help you good ideas what the unit is all about and will guide you to, to the answers. Take your time doing this. It will be worthwhile in the long run while answering the questions. Keep these some few hints in mind. Do not let a friend help you with the co completion of the assignment. Rather do it on your own and only ask for assistance when needed. The study guide should be your main source of information, but you may use other textbooks to broaden your viewpoints. Mention the sources you used at the end of the, your assignment. Please contact your tutor or religious leaders for any guidance if you need help. Write legibly and neatly. If I cannot read what you have written, I cannot allocate marks to you. Use neatly cut papers to write on or the papers from IOL office. The first impression is very important, so present your assignment neatly. Use the following Arial size 12. This should be used when typing. Remember, write with a blue or a black pen. All questions are compulsory. Do not leave out questions even if you don't know them or understand the, the, uh, the question. Conduct your tutor and find help to answer each question properly. All answers of questions asked 
in the assignment can be found in the study guide. Make sure that your answers matches the question number of the assignment. So write the correct answer to the correct question. For example, if you answer question 1.1, so your answer should be 1.1, and then you start with your answer. Carefully read what is expected of you. Read the questions thoroughly, even more than once. At the beginning of your study guide, a list of keywords are given and explained. These words can, can be found under the heading Verb Thinking Process. Here you will find words like explain, define, describe, compare, and identify. These words are used to explain what is expected from you to answer the question properly. Read through the list and understand what is expected from you. For example, to describe means you must provide a detailed feature of an issue. And explain means you should provide a recent projection. Only do what is asked from you. Do not give a lengthy description if it's not asked for, from you. Now that you know the broader details, let us look at the assignment itself. Firstly, before you start with your assignment, get a good broad overview of the subject content. Start with each separate question. This assignment consists of five questions out of 12 units. You need to read all units and understand them. Look at the marks allocated to each question. Your answers should be in line with this. For example, if the question counts out of five, five marks, you should only write down five facts. If you write down, say, per se, 10 facts, only the first five will be marked, even though they may not be correct. The last five facts will be ignored and not marked. So you have to make very, very sure when you're answering the questions. Underneath are the verbs used in the assignment. Read and understand what is expected from you with each question. In this assignment, the following words are used. Define, explain, You'll ask to describe something. You'll ask to clarify. You'll ask you to motivate and to list. Most common mistakes made in previous assignments are, students did not use their study guide as main source of information. They did not use their own words but copied directly from the study guide. This resulted in ob obtaining poor marks as they did not portray their own understanding of the subject content. Two lengthy descriptions. Stick to the point when answering the questions. Students did not read the questions thoroughly and correctly and did not know what exactly was expected from them. Let us look at each question now. Question one. All the questions come from unit one. This unit is about the aspects of moral and religious education. Study the table of content carefully to find answers to the specific questions asked. When you have to explain, you should answer in detail and marks will only be for facts listed. You should have a deep understanding of the different religions in the world. Remember to answer in your own words where required. 
Question two. All the answers can be found in unit two and unit four. This unit is about the features of the Bible and sin. You'll have to clarify your understanding of a concept. This means you have to do a little thinking about the content. If asked to discuss, read with understanding and give a clear description of the concept in your own words. Question three. All the answers can be found in unit three, unit four, and unit five. This question covers the biblical view on human beings, behaviors, and how we can redeem ourselves before God. You will be asked to give evidence to support your answer. So, you should mention the Bible book, chapter, and the verse. Question 4. All the answers can be found in Unit 5 and Unit 6. It is about the biblical view and on human beings' behaviors and about counseling on personal and social issues. When asked to motivate, you should provide a set of facts and arguments to support your answer. Question 5. The answer can be found in chapter 12. The question considers the topic of social morality issues. You are required to do extensive research on most of the questions. It can be from the books, it can be from your religious leaders or from the elders. It requires critical thinking from the student and your view is evaluated. So which means that this question is, it's not only about a direct question, but I will look how you answer the question. In conclusion, you now ought to know what is expected from you. Do the assignment with a necessary dedication. Remember that this assignment will be the preparation point when studying for the examinations and should therefore be complete and correct as far as possible. Should you need help from me, you are welcome to phone me on 081-273-9800. Or mail me at matildeshiepo at gmail.com so that I can answer you in a well constructed way. Sometimes, if you send me a question through the email and I did not answer you, please you can send me an SMS on my phone so that I can open my mail. Please note that the, that the tutors do not work in the IOL office. We are part-time workers and cannot help you with any administrative problems. I can only help you with problems concerning the subject content. Good luck and enjoy exploring your subject. Music